Counting down the best James Bond pre-title sequences, at number 14, we introduce a new James Bond in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Well, John, you're a... Mm. Well, I think we're all On Her Majesty's Secret Service fans, but... Uh, I am, and I think one of the main reasons I am is just because of how different it is, especially mm. when you're comparing it to, let's say, the, the, the first 20 timeline anyway. I don't want to call it the ugly duckling, but it's the odd one out in a lot of ways. Mm. And I think that that's no exception for the um, for the pre-title sequence. Mm. Uh, you know, the pre-title sequences, a lot of those Sean Connery ones have been a brown, oh no, James Bond's going to die kind of thing. And there's been like, you know, hints that James Bond's dead and then he's he's not. And then this kind of twists that formula a bit is, is that we're going to see James Bond saving someone who wants to kill herself i mean mm. it's like it's, it's it's so it goes in bang these this isn't a child theme you know there's a lot more that goes on obviously as well mm. but i suppose with the action is that it's such a visceral fight it's got everything going for it the setting for starters like the, the beach mm. the lighting is absolutely amazing the camera work is, is it's michael reed isn't it is that Ryan saying it's michael reed is the, is the cinematographer yeah. yeah beautiful camera shots and obviously Barry's score and the sound editing is fantastic. They, they, they basically are just turning up every punch to 10 mm. on the volume and overemphasizing it. And it really makes you feel it's got a visceral feel. I always really liked the opening because it was, it was a proper, like it is a real scrap. It is a, yeah, you feel, it, it, like you say, you're saying, creating that world where this is very grounded in terms yeah. of, you know, Bond does struggle. And also, at times, it's really brutal, like, drowning people, you know, puts yeah, his knee yeah, on the back yeah, of that guy's yeah. head. Yeah. And, and I suppose, that, again, that's playing to, to Lazenby's strengths as, as being a bit of a, you know, a bit of a thug, you know, you know kind of thing. <laughs> the, the photography, again, is it looks great, but I wonder how much Lazenby was there for the actual kind of shoot, because there's so many inserts that's sort of clearly, back, you know, a, 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 for a studio shot, yeah, you know, even mm. you know, every time he comes, it's a close-up. It's clearly a, a back projection. So I wonder how how much he was actually on set for mm. that that whole scene. Yeah, yeah. I think the most noticeable thing immediately is well, not immediately, but and there are many noticeable things. But the camera work is pretty striking compared to others, and it's obviously there's the cutting and the speed of things, close up, far out, close up, far out, wide shots. Mm. It's in and out, in and out, and. There are some which are glorious silhouettes in sunset, some that are more about the action. And it seems really um, artistic and interesting to watch the way that it's done. Even though you do notice it, I don't get that whole vibe of it being distracting, like this is being mm. artistic. I mm. think it's artistic, but still the action mm. is, it's for the sake of kind of trying to accentuate the punches, the action, the intensity of of the fight it's not a novel long shot if you know what i mean mm. or anything like that it's noticeable camera work that throws you in it kind of throws you into the punch pulls you out throws you into punch and, yeah. and you know when when bodies are getting flung over into the water like the, the camera kind of moves with it which is mm. it's brilliant mm. and it's noticeable I mean, you mentioned it being um ugly duckling and it's quite an interesting analogy that in terms of you know what the ugly duckling grows up to be. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely, it's like one of those things. Because I was thinking, do you mean black sheep? But then, like, actually, no. I did mean black sheep. <laughs> ugly duckling works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but ugly duckling is the one because <laughs> yeah. it's one of those where perhaps you know when it first came out, when audiences first saw a different actor being filmed in this way, it was a lot for them to kind of get on board with immediately. But my mm. word. When you look back on it now, how well is this put together? It is really interesting that it starts with uh, M and Q, and it's only yeah. pretty short, but yeah. am I right? I know they do appear in a couple of pre-titled sequences, but it's the first time it opens, maybe the only time it opens yeah. on them, probably. Yeah. And I, I, part of me wondered whether that was, you know, to establish this is the world, you know, it's the same world. It's, hmm. yeah. it's the same, yeah. Number 10's making ugly noises about Operation Bedlam. Miss Moneypenny, have you checked with communications? Well, replies to our Cairo, Amsterdam and Madrid inquiries, all negative, sir. The PM wants to be informed personally when we find 007. The scores to introduce Lazenby as Bond, which is, I, I think is brilliant, by the way. Yep. I love it. I think it's so mm -hmm. cool. I really 
so cool. You you don't see who it is, but you like you know it's James Bond. But also introducing the the story in so much as their relationship and how they meet, and it is, you know, as you've said, like such a stark co contrast to. If you think about you, you only live twice. Yeah. Huge sets, big scale, and everything. And whilst this is stunning and beautiful, it's not loads of sets and everything like that. It's an amazing like beach at, at sunset. At mm. sunset or dawn. Well, it's dawn, I think, because he says oh, good yeah. morning to her. Oh, it, right, yeah, it yeah. Feels, it feels like night yeah. time, but it does, he does say good morning. Yeah. But it really is just so amazing. And can I picture Sean Connery doing any of this? You know, or what, what part? Like, sort of chasing after the woman and going, going into, the, you know, as you mentioned, John, going into the water to save her and everything like that. And, you know, carrying her. It's really... We don't often... Do we often see Bond, like, carrying a woman like that, like, rescuing her in such a fashion and then... You know, bringing it to shore, it's 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 remarkable how different it is. It, mm. it, it you know, but I, I you know I think it's really really interesting, um, but really really effective and yeah, I I really like it. I do think it's a good way to introduce George Lazenby as Bond because it's such a big thing to introduce someone else, and it's a really difficult thing to do. And obviously, mm. you know, breaking the fourth wall won't be for everybody. This never happened to the other fella. I don't mm. think they do that now. I probably wouldn't wouldn't do it, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Yeah, I, I found that quite confusing as a kid when I first watched it. It's just like, hang on a minute, I thought he's supposed to be the same character, not <laughs> yeah. you know, who's the other fella. You know, like, yeah. I mean, Sean Connery, but then that means oh, I always found that quite confusing. But I understand it in the context of, of the time as an introduction. It has been an influence on Dalton and Pierce Brosnan in terms of that tight close-ups of a feature. You know, his mouth as he puts a cigarette in it. The mm. eyes, you know, the sort of darkened eyes and the hat and all those kind of stuff you can see that, that that revealing the character in very small ways and then you see that you go for that kind of glorious kind of close-up. You can see how that's it, it, uh, that has influenced other Bond introductions. I think it's a Bond introduction, go, I think it's 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 great. And the, the pre titan sequence really sets the tone as something very different. My word, this sets the tone that you're in for something different. And, you know, a lot of the film is going to be about the relationship between these two people. One of them is James Bond, you know, but not in the way you've seen him before. So mm. it really is. It's it's terrific. It really is. <laughs>